What does MC Hammers Can't Touch This and Some Zebrafish Have to Do with a Graduated Cylinder? Keep watching to find out. In a recent study, scientists studied baby zebrafish called larvae and their ability to perceive sound. They used zebrafish that had a fluorescent protein in their brain, and every time a neuron fired, the cell would light up. By looking at which cells lit up in response to different sounds, including the song Can't Touch This, the scientists discovered that zebrafish larvae can hear a wider range of sound than previously thought. But how did the scientists figure this out? To visualize their brains, they needed to put the larvae under a microscope, but the problem is fish like to move a lot, and that makes them hard to track. So, as part of the experiment, the scientists placed the larvae in a special device that could go on the microscope, and they immobilized the larvae by putting them in a soft agarose gel to keep them in place so they could be observed while they listened to the sounds. In order to measure the liquid to make the agarose gel, the scientists use a graduated cylinder. But what is a graduated cylinder and how does it work? A graduated cylinder is like a measuring cup that is optimized for use in a lab. Graduated cylinders are best for measuring volumes between 25 mil and 2000 mil. If you need to measure between 1 and 25 mil, use a pipette. If you need to measure less than 1 mil, use a micropipette. Be sure to choose the correct device for the job. But what about a beaker? Can't we use those? They also look pretty similar to measuring cup. Never measure liquid in a beaker. It isn't meant to be used like that and is only good for mixing solutions. Beakers have lines on the side to show the approximate volume of the container. But in comparison to a graduated cylinder, a graduated cylinder is much more precise at measuring a specific volume than a beaker. There are many different sizes of graduated cylinders, from this little one all the way up to this giant one. Be sure to choose one that will hold all of your solution in one go, but not one with a capacity far beyond what you actually need. For example, if I need to measure 80 mil, I'll choose a 100 mil graduated cylinder, and if I need to measure 800 mil, I'll choose a 1000 mil graduated cylinder. What does mil mean? It's the abbreviation scientists use to refer to milliliters. When you're looking at the amount of liquid in a graduated cylinder, be sure you are at eye level with the cylinder and that you based your measurement at the bottom of the meniscus. The meniscus is a slight curvature at the top of the water column that forms as a result of the water kind of sticking to the sides of the graduated cylinder. It's important to always read the volume of water from the bottom of the meniscus. And with that, you now know all of the information necessary to use a graduated cylinder, just like the scientists who performed the experiment with the zebrafish. Fun fact, the lead researcher on the study about the zebrafish, Rebecca Polson, aka Bexta, was also Australia's first female dance music producer and DJ. Isn't that cool? That just goes to show you that anyone can be a scientist. Yeah.